Mike Pittman, 420 Elm Street, 403 West 4th, the garages, 1014 West 1st. Uh, it's been an interesting five months. Uh, many of you have been involved in some of the meetings I've been in in my life. But I thought, I thought a lot about what I was going to say because, Ron, you addressed this after the application was approved the December Historic Board. <laughs> but I thought rather than trying to rehash history, I'm looking forward. And I think one of the things that I think is very important is that the Historic Board does have a code of ethics. And I think that code of ethics is very important. And it's three pages long, in case you haven't seen it, it's on the website. It was done in 2011 by Ginger Jorgensen when she was chairman. I've sat where you are, Ron. I've been chairman. I've sat where you are. I've sat on the board. And it's a tough position. But there's certain elements, I think, that are important that we all adhere to in our role, especially in dealing with the public. And when you look at the, the code of ethics, two stick out in my mind that I would like to just read to you so that you are aware of them and you go on record as heard them. In the HDBR's Historic District Board of Review, the HDBR and staff shall treat all citizens fairly, impartially, and with respect, and refrain from discrimination or harassment of any kind. That's number two. On down the page is one I think is very important, and I think really needs to be adhered here to. The HDBR stat and staff shall avoid dishonesty, never misrepresenting facts, or distorting information, or achieved desired outcomes. And I think these are two real important things that you all need to think about and look at in your future dealings with the, with the, with the public, with other, with other uh, preservation staffs, and with the city officials. Thank you. Thank you for your comments. Are there any other comments? Or any other? I, I have a comment on that. Um, well, Mr. Pippen, I have served on a number of public boards, and I will have to say that I have never served on a board where I feel like the members of the board are as attuned to being ethical, being honest, and representing as fairly as they possibly can the people that come before them and attempting not to discriminate. I think what we have found in our work, and one of the reasons we're addressing the guidelines right now, is that our guidelines are not clear in many places, and so that causes us to, to have questions, and I think in the past has caused us to perhaps be inconsistent in votes, and, and it could be perceived that we're not treating the public fairly. That's what we're trying to clear up. But I will have to say that this board that, that I am privileged to serve on and serve with, I don't know any more ethical people who think of put the time in. And, and I would have to say that the behavior of people coming before this board has not always been to treat this board with the respect that I think the kind of work that it puts in deserves. And um, the, not only the board, but I'd like to commend uh, Jess Butler, who serves as our staff, who puts in the time to research all this and has been highly ethical and concerned about treating citizens fairly. And quite honestly, I don't think it's fair to, to not respond to an implication that we haven't tried to be as fair as we, have, we can. Well said. I agree. Thank you. I agree as well. Thank you for saying that. 